Hello there, this is Joe here and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're having trouble on finding thermodynamic values in solving problems in power plant engineering, heat transfer, thermodynamics, heating, ventilating, and air conditioning, and many other related problems, this video would surely help you. I'll be introducing you how to work on computer-aided thermodynamic tables. So let's go and learn. So what is computer-aided thermodynamic tables? It was made by Van Weyden, Sontag, and Bergnick in a company in their book, The Fundamentals of Classical Thermodynamics. Computer-aided thermodynamics table 3 provides you with a means to access various thermodynamic tables normally found in text or reference books. There is no need to interpolate values from a table. You simply enter a property value you want to evaluate and let the computer or your laptop do the work. The CAT tree is a free software. How to do it? Well, type in the internet browser the word Computer Aided Thermodynamic Table 3 and hit enter. But I posted in the description below a good source of installer of your for your laptop or computer, either Windows or Apple. The cat screen is divided into an upper and lower section. The upper section displays the values last evaluated and, in some cases, the graphical representation of those values. The lower section contains a spreadsheet-like log of all previous values evaluated for a particular substance. The sections are separated by draggable bar, as one, which allows you to view more or less of each. You can evaluate all the tables using one or pro four predefined sets of units. You can select units prior to performing any calculations using change unit in the options. There you go. But in this example, we're doing the SI unit and click OK. The tables are grouped into following water, refrigerants, cryogenics, air, ideal gases, compressibility, and psychrometrics. Or you can access each group by clicking on the corresponding tabs at the bottom section. One is water, refrigerant, cryogenics, air, ideal gases, compressibility, and psychrometrics. Also, in the right upper corner, R, the, is the representation graph. Uh, this is presented in TS diagram or in PV diagram. For this example, we will be using the water. So, in this water properties, uh, you have the general properties and the saturation properties. Once there's a problem, I think it is in the saturated or in the general properties where you are to two inputs. Let's start. If we're given the example or the problem where you need to solve from the outside of the saturated values or saturated curve. Calculate. So you see in the general properties, there are eight types of input. So given you will be assigning this to have the value of 2580 Celsius. And at a pressure of 3 megapascal, enter. So you can see there are properties here. We have the temperature, the pressure, of course, which was given earlier. But the specific volume, the specific internal energy, the specific enthalpy, the specific entropy, and the phase. Of course, you have the graphical representation of it. So we see it as in the outside of the saturation curve where it's in the superheated region. And of course, in the log, 
below or given the body or given the values output so for example if you want to expand the steam in a turbine where the process is isentropic so you have to hit again the calculate and then for the isentropic process just uh, click the 7 where you need only to change the pressure say 1 megapascal hit enter so you have another values of uh, water properties and in the ES diagram you'll see that it has expanded in the region at saturated curve and also given in the log we see that it has this phase liquid vapor mixture at a quality of 0.9429 So we're back in our program let's try to explore how about the psychrometrics yeah. so we need to calculate all the values given to you by your faculty in your a psychrometric chart so you just click calculate so again, there are two inputs needed. For example, you are given the temperature, say, 24 degrees Celsius, the dry bulb temperature, and the absolute relative humidity, say, 0 0.0001, is in kilogram water per kilogram of dry air. And hit enter. Ah, the values are there. Uh, even below, it's the same. One of the key features in the log is that you can transfer it, copy paste, and transfer it to either Word or Excel. So all that you have to do is to explore. So I hope this video helped you in your challenges in finding thermodynamic values. But one thing's for sure, uh, this technology would greatly help you determining values in thermodynamic problems. But for those students out there viewing in this video, don't forget the process of interpolation since you can't bring with you your computer and gadgets in your board exams thank you and hit subscribe in my channel